I'm so grateful to have you as a part of my success, but I want to share with you a bit of my failures. Hey everyone, this is Jay Shetty and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really hope that you've subscribed so that you get a notification every time we launch a new video. In the first 12 months of making videos, I hit around 1 billion views. And in the last three months, we've hit another billion views. That's over 2 billion views. Thanks to each and every one of you. I've loved every moment of creating and sharing this content with you. But I want to talk to you about when it was actually very different. Just around two years ago, I had this idea. I I wanted to share wisdom at a pace we wanted entertainment. I wanted to share wisdom in a way that it could connect, resonate and deeply evolve the lives of people all over the world. For 10 years before that, I'd been working with individuals, groups, coaching at universities, companies and all of these opportunities, but I really wanted to serve and connect with everyone across the world. I wanted to make wisdom accessible to anyone who had one of these. I have one of those. So I was excited, I had the energy, the enthusiasm, and I was pitching my idea to every single company that was online. Now remember, this is before I ever made a single video, before any of you knew who I was. Who is this guy? I applied to not 10, not 20, but 30 online media companies, hoping that one of them would like my series idea. I waited a day, I waited two days, I waited a week, I was rejected, by every single one of those companies before interview. None of them invited me for a phone interview. None of them invited me for a video interview. None of them even connected with me in any personal way. That's rude. I said to myself, it doesn't matter. Let's see what else I can do to try and make my goal a reality. What else you got? So I tried to network with people who may be able to give me a chance. I got one answer and one answer only. They said, you're getting older now. Most of the people who want to break into this industry are around 21 years old. Just don't worry about it. Other people said to me, look, you need to go get a media and journalism degree or a master's and then we'll take you seriously. Literally, I was getting rejected from every single person I spoke to, but inside of me, I had this desire, I had this calling, I had this mission, I had this vision that I wanted to share everything that I had learned with people out there. I genuinely tried every single possible method I could to break into the media industry to the point that the only thing that was left that I could try was to start a social media channel. And of course, you know the rest. The most incredible thing is that it reminds me of a really powerful thought from Thomas Edison. He once said, when you believe you've exhausted all options, remember this, you haven't. That thought stayed in my mind the whole time. What I learned from all of this rejection, from all of this failure, from all of these clear no's, was one really important thing. And today, I wanna to give that as a gift to you. Me? If you have a dream, you have an idea, you have a vision, we have to take the responsibility to prove our worth before we expect anyone to value our talent. When I started crafting and creating my own videos, teaching myself how to edit, learning how to produce, understanding the mechanics of social media, when I started putting my energy into that space, that's when people started to take notice. That's when people started to listen. That's when things started to happen. This is nice. It's when I decided to take the responsibility for sharing what I was passionate about with the world and not waiting for someone external to validate me or give me permission or allow me to do that. That's what made the difference. If you're feeling you've been going through a lot of rejections, ask yourself this. Is your deeper passion and calling making you want to move further? Number two, have you truly knocked on every single door? And number three, are you working hard on investing in your expertise and passion so that you really have something impactful to offer?